These oil gallery plugs, guys. I wonder if they loose. Yeah, we're gonna check them. We're gonna remove them, put some Loctite on. We don't, don't that can affect oil pressure, and we don't want that. All right, so I need him to understand all that. We're going in with new lifters as well. Da -da. I normally don't do this, but they say they want new lifters and rockers. Now, grab a 13 millimeter. Let's talk about these uh, oil gallery plugs. 13 millimeter wrench. All right, see if they loose. Oh my goodness, you didn't, no effort was it? That one's tight? This one is, yeah. The other one was loose? All right. This one, no effort. Yeah, so we're gonna take those off and put a Loctite on them. Loctite and talk. Yeah, we're gonna talk them down to spec. Those have a habit of working their way loose. When they work their way loose, the engine will lose oil pressure. When you lose oil pressure yeah. on a variable valve timing engine, that spell bad news. Mm. Don't drop that down in there, make sure you get that out. We're just gonna clean it up and put a, uh, yeah, cool. Loctite on. There's a torque specs to tighten it, so we're gonna look at the torque spec and tighten it two specs. Two specs? Yeah. Hopefully they won't work their way out. That could have been catastrophic. I've seen them come all the way out and just fall out. Come on, man. Yep, it has a major effect on oil pressure. On the new heads, they got a plug in that area, in that port, so we don't have to deal with uh, the bolts. They put a cap in, in the place of these bolts on the cylinder heads, the updated cylinder heads. All right, so we're gonna torque those to spec, and uh, we're gonna keep right along trucking. Stay tuned. So, now we gotta prep this thing for reassemble, which means the timing chain have to be in its release state. Yeah, we'll do those later. Let's do this. These two tools here are what needed to uh, bring the plunger in so we can get the timing set up. I'm not going to be able to film this part. All right. We need these two tools. One is to pull up on the plunger and lock it in place. No. This is to pull up. This is to release the plunger so it go in. And this one is to, it's called a grenade. This one to hold it and lock it in until we're ready to release it. All right. So... I need a, uh... alright guys, I can't film this part, so y'all have to hold tight. In fact, watch, like I say, watch this video right here. I'll show y'all how to do that real easy. Alright, y'all stay tuned. Alright, so we won't be needing this anymore. Now we all we have is the grenade pin in. Alright, so as you can see, the plunger is all the way in its housing. You see down there? So now I got free reign with the timing chain. That would make it easier to set the timing back up. All right, let's continue. Oh, you got all the lifters right here. Okay, let's start inserting the uh, lifters. But the thing is, you don't want to put them, nothing in dry. So take that oil, just go down this line, putting some of that oil in the hole. They don't have to be a lot, just a little. Even with the camshaft, you gotta make sure this stuff is not put on dry. Oh, shit. <laughs> just, just go down the line. <laughs> Dude, you can't find the hole? <laughs> it's just, I don't know, that's awkward. It's just, don't, don't get in that spark plug hole now, whatever you do. You're just doing it so they won't, the valve train, the oil pump, when you first start the car, the oil pump gonna try to run and uh, deliver the oil pressure to the valve train. That has to be quick. So if you're building the engine, already, it's best to be already lubricated. So let's install the, those uh, hydraulic, Lifters, some call them lash adjusters, some call them, they got several different names, but they all mean the same thing. Uh, totally different from a, a push rod engine, a cam and block design. This is a dual level overhead cam engine. So we're going to set up the valve train parts and then go in with the camshaft. But uh, those are the same way, they can't go on dry. So where is my... Uh, Ta-da! <laughs> Permatex engine assembly loop. Now set the uh, rocker arm time. We we essentially building the valve train system. It's the same, no different than if you was doing a replacing a cylinder head. You have to do the same thing, but we're not replacing the head. We are repairing um, valve train components that failed 
the rock arms fail which destroyed the camshaft which will require us to get a new camshaft and we're gonna go in with all new rock arms and you make sure you put those on right yeah you know the oil flow through the lifters and go through the rock arms the rock arm, yeah. uh, that spring uh, it's a valve spring it's designed to be pushed up and down in order to allow for that intake air mixture to get in the cylinders that is done by uh, the camshaft alright let's start with the uh, exhaust which one is the exhaust this one down here because yep. it's closest to the exhaust closest to the exhaust all right, where's your exhaust camshaft? We can reuse that one because that one wasn't damaged. Whoa, 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 whoa. We can't put that on dry. Oh, yeah, what's the... Yeah, just <laughs> never put any valve train on. And by the way, clean this off. This is the tone wheel for the, the speed sensor or the camshaft reset. You can do a brake cleaner or just... No, wipe that all off. Those are the shavings that was accumulated from the rocker arms coming apart. Those little powdered metal shaving it becomes a little mist inside the valve cover. And because this is magnetized, it would draw that mist to this. So it's not, that don't mean you have to replace it. Just clean it up and uh, reuse it. You can reuse the camshaft. Only reason you should be replacing the camshaft is if it's damaged or this tone wheel has walked. Okay, this is press fit. If this become loose, you need a camshaft. If this camshaft become damaged, you need a camshaft. Those are the only two reasons you should be replacing the camshaft. And remember what I told you, be careful where you sit this. Yeah, you can't be on, magnet. yeah, you always have a rag around. Now you're going to use that, uh, the goal here is not to put the camshaft on dry. So put that on every journal or every, right. yeah. That's where the camshaft going to sit. As soon as we fire the engine up, these parts are going to start rolling. The oil pump is not that quick to get this oil up that that fast, so we want to already be lubricated. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we'll do that one next. Let's do the exhaust first. Go ahead and put the cam on. Try to turn it to where that dot. Remember the dot you we saw? Yeah. Cause remember we got to put the phasers back on it. Yeah, I saw the dot. Yeah, so let make make go. Yeah, leave it like that where it's set flush. Uh, okay. We can, no, we're see it's not flush right now. Turn it. Yeah, it's flush. Okay. See that? That's good. We can always turn this back and uh, do our thing. All right, where my? No, no. How are you gonna put the phasers on when the cam is not locked down yet? So for this one. I don't know where you. I told you to make sure you line this stuff up right. Be careful; those bolts fall out and fall in the engine, then we doom. Just drive them on. We're gonna torque them down later. They must be torque, but for now we're gonna drive them down so we can start positioning the cam phasers. Uh, no, we're torquing last because we got to get the, the, the phasers positioned. So grab uh, what phaser we're looking for. Remember, there's two different type of phaser. Yeah. Exhaust phaser and a uh, intake phaser. We're the yeah, we're going with new ones. Bring that here. This is intake. How do you know it's intake? So it's smart. It's in the front. This is INT. INT. Get box out your way. We don't want no clutter. We don't want nothing to fall in this engine. Everything should be covered. I bet. So you see the... Uh, now you can grab your wrench and turn that, rotate that cam to bring that dot back up now. All right, let's put the cam phaser on there. And grab the oil control valve nut. Be careful that go. No, put the phaser on first so you can get a feel for how it attaches to the camshaft. That's the timing mark that you marked on the old phaser. Yeah, uh, right, right in the middle. See if you can line it up to the camshaft. It's okay to adjust it because you're not hooked up to anything yet. Oh. I mean, it's okay, to, it's okay to rotate the cam. Oh, rotate the cam? Yeah, if you have to. If it don't just sit on there, just move the cam to where you need it to be. Dot the dot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's dot the dot. So grab the chain? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can let the chain lay down now. 
Okay. And then yeah, grab your uh, boat, one of your oil control valves. Your heart. Yeah, they should have made it idiot proof to where it only go on one way. But the tangs, that's why you should observe, look around everything so you can see, get a feel or a sense of what way everything go. All these little tangs right here mm -hmm. go toward the camshaft. Now, is that one? I one? What, this one? Yeah. I mean, yeah, this is I one. So that must be I two. Yeah, I one. Yeah. Flip, turn it over the other way. Yeah, must, that that one's got to be the first one because it's the biggest one. Yeah. Yeah. Some not all of them because the cam is not sitting flesh. Right. At any time, will all the valves be open or closed? So. It's not gonna, you just got to drive it down. Remember, just start in the center, drive it down, and, uh, and then start going toward the outside. But yeah, all of them not gonna be easy to put on. Okay, okay. You got to change the, your markings on the timing marks. So okay. now we're putting in the cam phasers. Then we're gonna bring all the loose slack. Yeah, it might be wrench time. Bring all the loose slack yeah. on the chain to the slack part and then pull the grenade. All right, grab the torque wrench. We can just use this one block. You're gonna do it the same way. You're gonna hold the camshaft while you torque. Uh, what's the torque specs? We're getting ready to torque down the oil control valve, camshaft phaser bolt. Yeah, yeah back, back. bag it back a little bit. All right, that's good. Uh, so you, you go more, you go. It's like a two hand thing because even though you got the block in there, you still want to hold it. The block is there to hold it, but go ahead and do it anyway. Okay. You know how to work a torque wrench, pull yeah. till it click. This is crucial. That bolt has to be tucked, torqued down to specs. Uh oh, I heard a click. Just like that? Yeah, you have specs now. Do the exhaust. We already done the camshaft caps. So at this point, remember pull, push push this so you can have your leverage push while this? you pull it. Yeah, while you tighten up the cam bolts. Yeah, I'm pushing like forward. Oh, okay, yeah. Because you don't want it to jump time. I don't know what Yeah, it is in time. I mean, it's torqued. All right, now it's time to pull the grenade. But before you do that, we need to rotate this both of these camshafts forward because we want all the slack up here. When we pull this grenade, that plunger is going to come out up against that guide, and the guide is going to push on the chain. So grab the wrench, turn both camshafts forward. forward. You see this right here? This is slack. We want this? we want all that slack up here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So both. Sides. Yeah, yeah. Just do that one. Okay. Now you see all the slack out of that. So now, oh, okay. I mean, yeah. In some cases, you just hold hold attention on the on the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So there's no slack right here. It's all right here. So now, see this when we pull this grenade, it's just gonna press up against this. Okay. So, uh, like yeah, it shouldn't be. So pull the grenade, but just make sure all the slack out. It's almost like a two-man job. So I can just pull it up? Yeah, pull the grenade. Set the bomb off. All right, that's it. We have just now completed a ticking, 3.6. We just fixed it. I also had a PO340, guys, uh, that usually indicate problems with the cam timing prime problems with the cam it got guys when you got a cam sensor code these never go bad okay don't just don't re be replacing these so because you see a po340 had a problem with that cam phasers we're going in with a new pcv valve okay we go we reusing the same cam phaser but we are now done with this ticking job he's gonna put the valve covers on here reseal the valve cover don't we got valve cover gasket it was in that box. Yeah, we got valve cover gasket. So I'm gonna wrap this video up. I hate these long videos. So we're gonna reseal the valve covers, put it back together. Next time y'all see me is when we start it up. You're gonna hear how quiet it is. No more ticking.
All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Y'all stay tuned for more.